Why is it that many Christians don't pray? Last week, we talked about the sin of prayerlessness and how that when we neglect prayer, it's wrong, but we also miss out on what God has for us. But why is it that we neglect prayer? What causes a believer not to pray? Why is it that we go day after day and never spend quality time in prayer? What is the cause of prayerlessness? In Matthew 17, the disciples are trying to cast out a demon, but they were unsuccessful. They go to Jesus and ask him why they couldn't cast out the demon. And Jesus responds in Matthew chapter 17, verse 20 through 21, says, And Jesus said unto them, Because of your unbelief. For verily I say unto you, If ye have faith as a grain of mustard seed, ye shall say unto this mountain, Remove hence to yonder place, and it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. Howbeit, this kind goeth not out, but by prayer and fasting. The reason why they couldn't cast out the demon was because of their unbelief. But that begs the question, what was the cause of their unbelief and lack of prayer and fasting? They were trying to do the work in their flesh. The disciples have undoubtedly thought that they had cast out many demons before. They have done this thousands of times. And because of that, they chose not to rely on God and pray. They were trying to do the work in their flesh. The cause of prayerlessness is simply walking in the flesh. When we neglect prayer, we are living as though we don't need God. Because prayer in itself is a de display of dependence upon God. But when we live in the flesh, we are depending upon ourselves, which causes us not to pray. And the only way we can get victory over walking in our flesh is by choosing to walk in the Spirit. Galatians chapter 5, verse 25 says, If we live in the Spirit, let us also walk in the Spirit. The cause of prayerlessness is walking in the flesh. But we can have victory through Christ by submitting to the Spirit and living our lives totally dependent on God. May God help us be Christians who are surrendered and walking in the Spirit so that we can have victory over the sin of prayerlessness.